you will never be miserable again. Once upon a time, a man visited a village where a very learned monk lived in a monastery. After living for a few days in the monastery, the man went to the old monk and said, Master, I have made up my mind to shift to this town permanently, as that way I can visit you whenever I want. How is this town like to settle down? The wise monk asked, How is the town you are living in now like? The man replied, It is a very sad and lonely place. People are not kind or helpful, no one smiles, and I feel very depressed there. The monk said, This town is very much the same. I don't think you will like it here. After a few days, another man wanting to live close to the monastery came up to the wise man and asked the same question. The old monk asked, How is the town you are living in now like? The second man replied, It is wonderful. The people are kind and helpful. The town is lively. I feel happy living there. The monk said, This town is pretty much the same. I think you will like it here. It so happened that the second man turned out to be a friend of the first man. He went back home and told the first man that he is shifting to the new town as guided by the old monk. The first man got very upset and angry and went to the monk. He asked, Why did you tell me that I will not like this town, but you told my friend that he will like this town? That is not fair at all. The old monk replied, What we are seeking is already within us. Happiness and peace are to be found inside of us. If there is a storm raging inside of us, then we can go to the most peaceful place on earth, but still, we won't be able to find peace outside of us. If we are happy, then wherever we live, we will try to find the positives in life and not the negatives. However, if we are constantly sad and depressed, then our mind tends to drag us to the negativities of our lives, and that is a very dark well. You, my child, are in that dark well. When you come out of it, I will give you the same advice. The man realized that he needed to change his negative attitude into a positive one. He made up his mind to focus on finding happiness and peace within him rather than outside of him. He promised himself to be happy in the present moment rather than waiting for a future time and place for happiness to find him. This way, he learned a very important life lesson.